moving to oneness. Nourishing curiosity. Embracing differences. Becoming one. interesting day today. <laughs> How are you? The sun is shining, the church bells are ringing, the children are laughing outside, playing, the sun comes through there, the clouds, a beautiful wind, the leaves are dancing in the wind, right? And why are the church bells ringing today at this time, just as I started speaking, is because it is a Pentecost here in Germany. We celebrate that. We also celebrate not just on a Sunday. We also have a second day where we celebrate that and consider it it's a holiday on Monday. If you're Christian or not, it is a holiday throughout the country of Germany. And before, when I was in the garden, to really nourish myself before I start this episode today and speak to you, I could hear the traditional music, right? Here are a lot of horn players. They have a little band, a lot of villages here in Bavaria. They have uh, groups, traditional, um, not traditional, where they dress up in their costumes and come together to celebrate life and to celebrate tradition. Some traditions have been taken over by the church, but some of them have, that have roots in our history are also still celebrated. There is one, which is a funny one, is they steal a May tree. So in May, you have a tree built up in the village to celebrate also the growth, right, that has happened in the middle of the springtime and Beltane, right? So six weeks after when spring starts. And then they have a little um, fun things where they steal each other, the tree of the village next door, and you have to find it and... And sometimes it's really not a tree, it is just a stem that has been painted over the centuries with beautiful imagery, colors of the state or of the region, right? Symbolisms. And here in Bavaria and even further down south of Bavaria, you do that. I'm not Bavarian, so I don't know exactly why and how they do it. But I think it's a fun a tradition and for all of this is always showing for sure also the strengths of the men and also Pentecost, right? If you look more of the ancient wisdom, it is still the idea of growth. So before I go on, I need to welcome you to the Moving to Oneness podcast. I'm your host, Mylene. And in German, we have a flower that is blooming now at the moment. It's a little behind because it's been a little cold and it's called the peony Pfingstrose, right? Today also what the holiday is Pfingsten and so we call that flower it's a lush, beautiful filled blossom and it's one of my favorite ones if I really could say a favorite one but I don't know, it always has attracted me I should say that not because of its size it has to do with its energy. So what flowers are you attracted to? What colors attract you? What form? What scent? Do you touch them? Do you smell them? Is it multicolored? Yeah, the flowers, they have this a sparkle about them. They're very, in a way, stimulating, I believe. They bring joy. I think then that's light, nice to have that Pfingstrosen. And almost every German has a Pfingstrose in their garden. 
And what is maybe so important is that it dies off in the winter and it goes underground and each year it has to come out and it, each year it comes out larger, wider, higher, right? And with more flowers, with more bl blossoms that have been produced. So what are you producing this year more, fuller, with more width, with more strength? that is more of you, right? Because you're right with the energies that are outdoors and especially you can see the change this year. Everything is filled. It, it's filled from the inside out. It, there's a thickness, a plentifulness, but also a softness. I think that especially with the playing of the leaves in the wind right now and the reflection of the sun. So how can you see that in your life? And I know some of you are on the other side of the equator, but there's a similar thing. There is now the energy. What are you going to herbinate about? What are you going to think about? There are new ideas being created that you're going to bring out in six months, right? That are you're contemplating on. And also you who's bringing things out, like me here more in the Northern Hemisphere. It is important that we bring things together, that everything unifies. Yeah, we're here on the Moving to Oneness podcast. What is it about? That we move to our oneness, that you move to your oneness, that I move into my oneness, that I pull together all of my parts in a way to recognize them, to acknowledge them, to understand them and to create then with them in a new way. And we've spoken about new ways a bit this spring, right? But now there is a certain speed I believe, behind it. A certain push. You can see it out in nature. Take a look. It's like when you put your arms and hands together and, and you take your fingers inward, right? But you still have the bottom of your hand together and, and in a way a little bit of your knuckles. And the energy comes out of the ground through your feet up into your upper body, into arm, in your arms. But at the same time, there's this energy coming from the skies through your head, also into your torso, shoulders, into your arms. And there's a light squeeze against your fingers. But then suddenly you're pushing the bottom of your palms together, right? And you open your fingers and you push that light out that new creation, this ball of golden love, <laughs> in a way, and you can open up your arms, exposing more of you, but in the same time, you're showing yourself and inviting everyone else to play with you, to create with you. This is now the time. And when... I have recognized myself, you have recognized yourself, we have recognized each other. And then there is a lightness, a softness to our creation, to our being with each other, to seeing each other. So I want to take you for a moment. I feel that energy that I just spoke about that is coming together from the ground into your body, from a beautiful blue planet and lush green brown tones, the gray of, of, of rock. Oh, and there's a multitude of colors in that too, right? There's also this interplay of different materials, all these different greens and red tones, brown tones in the leaves the new flowers that are popping up everywhere. You can see the wild strawberries too here. The white, getting everyone happy about the flavor they're going to taste on their tongue, in their mouth once they eat a ripe strawberry. And the wild ones, they're just small, but really tasty and full. It's like an explosion, I believe, in your, in, in your mouth. So what 
when these energies come from the heavens, from the earth, and they come together within you, there is a circulation happening, right? It goes up your spine, forward, down. You invite light into your body to do the same movement. The meridians move your energy this way. Your blood moves around and has an interplay. There is this interplay of these two forces, right? Even in biology, we have red and blue blood. <laughs> but there's a, always this moment of interplay, of inter mixing of understanding each other and then you put your essence your knowledge your wisdom into all of that and it's the same with your breath you take in your breaths and you exhale and there is also the air that goes out you send your energy out into the world it flies off with the wind to open a window maybe but it goes out the moment you open a door and you move outside, maybe you are outside. It is this beautiful exchange and the creation. So concentrate, I invite you to concentrate on what are you creating and what are you bringing to the table? What dish are you bringing for a festive coming together and celebrating? Like the musicians coming together with their instruments and then on top, not just the instrument, there's some have the same ones, but the different uh, power or gentleness they put into it. So a tone comes out. The beauty you put into your voice. Observe if you sound different. Ask your partner, ask your children, ask your parents. How do I sound? Has something changed with me? And I would say yes. Because you being filled out more. These energies that you're playing with now, you can fill out your body. You can expand more. Your muscles get fuller. Excitement builds up. Right? Energy builds up. Energy that wants to create, energy that wants to flow and invites you. It will flow anyway, but go with it. That your movements become very fluid, smooth, elegant, harmonious, in a way balanced. Observe yourself how you walk maybe now. Is there a tingle within you? Then you can feel that all these things are having an exchange at this moment. And then maybe breathe a little quicker or invite the blood to move faster or invite the energy to move quicker within your body. How does that feel? More energy, more in you building up and building up and out goes into the world because all of you have a desire to be who you are to have an impact onto the world to live a legacy to create something magical something beautiful and that's pure love this desire is filled with love, filled with happiness. And whatever vision you're following that you have set for yourself or are setting now, it's grand, it's vast, it's all encumbrancing, like you are. <laughs> Wow,
喂耶耶耶耶，我我我呀呀，我我我我哟，我我我耶，我我我耶，我我耶耶耶耶，我耶耶耶呀，我我我耶耶耶呀，我我我我耶耶耶耶耶，我我。我我我我呀我我我我呀呀呀我我我呀我我我我我我我我呀我我我我呀你你我我我我我呀我我我呀哟呀你你我我我我我呀呀你你你我我我呀呀呀呀我我我我呀呀呀呀呀我我我呀呀我我我我我我呀。我我也呀，我我我也呀，我我我我也呀，我我也呀，我我我么么我也呀，我我我么么呀呀，我我么呀，我我么呀，么么么么么呀，么么么么么呀，呀我么么呀。妈妈呀呀，妈妈妈呀，我妈妈妈呀呀，我妈妈妈呀呀，我我耶呢呢呢，我耶，我耶，我我耶，我耶，我妈呀，我耶。There's a peaceful feeling within me and outside. Because that's what you're bringing with your love to all of us. I celebrate you for doing this, for following your heart. For becoming more of who you are, becoming more visible. I celebrate your courageousness. What is so beautiful? Feel embraced and supported. Feel how you're being filled out now even further. The energy within your body. The calmness, the serenity that is settling within you. Soak in it. Gently move with it. A gentle dance, or you may want to lie down and just feel the flow. That is you playing with all existence, playing with all of you, playing with all that exists. With all beings, humans, entities, the trees, the animals, the air, the water, your breath, your blood, your voice, your beingness. <laughs> So I let you drift off. As you gently move your intention, or your energy, I should say, along your intention toward your vision 
and letting it unfold, open up to the world. As the flowers blossom, right, the bud that opens up now to show all its beauty, colors, softness, scent, and for all of us, this love that you're bringing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy the way you're growing. And do share it in the Facebook group with us. The Facebook group Moving to Oneness. Your gifts, what you're creating now, let us know. So we can be here for each other, support each other. This is Mylene, your host of the Moving to Oneness podcast. And I send my love to you. Goodbye.